Previously on Supernatural. Take your brother outside as fast as you can. Now, Dean, go! Dad's on a hunting trip. And he hasn't been home in a few days. I swore I was done hunting. I can't do this alone. Rob Benedict. And I am Richard Spate. We were both on a little show you might know called Supernatural. It had a pretty good run, you know, 15 seasons, 327 episodes. And though we have seen, of course, every episode many times, or at least we know people have, we figured, hey, now that we're wrapped, let's watch it all again. But we can't do that alone. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Well, I don't want to. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. So we're inviting the cast and crew that made the show along for the ride. Why can't we do that alone? Because then it wouldn't be a podcast. Good point. We've got writers, producers, composers, directors. Uh, you're talking about me, right? Uh, sure, eventually, but, but also like, you know, other directors. For 15 years, this became legend. I directed two in the first year, and then after that, it was three and four episodes a year. Ooh, those guys are good. And we'll, of course, have some actors on as well, including some guys that played some pretty iconic brothers. It's kind of a little bit of a left field choice in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. So I've always been a big fan of that. You know, Kripke could have gone with the obvious choice. The note from Kripke was, He's great. We love him, but we're looking for, like, a really intelligent Duchovny type. <laughs> so we're going to go episode by episode, digging deep into the show we all love in a way that we hope makes you enjoy it even more. There will probably be a few detours. And, hey, that's what it's all about, right? The journey. As we look back at the show, how it got made, and what made it so great. With 15 seasons to explore, it's going to be the road trip of several lifetimes. So please join us and subscribe to Supernatural, then... And now. You fellas had another one like this just last month, didn't you? And who are you? Federal Marshals. You two are a little young for Marshals, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, that's awfully kind of you. Say goodnight to your brother. Look how young Mary looks. Nice, yeah. Goodnight, love. Hey, Dean. Daddy! Hey, buddy. So sad looking what do you back. Think? You think Sammy's ready to toss around a football? John, Daddy. Mary. 
You got him. I got him. He's obviously all dead now, multiple so times. The Impala was kind of a kind of a little bit of a left field choice in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. So I've always been a big fan of that. You know, Krippy could have gone with the obvious choice, and instead he went. He went a little left field. gangster. I had a question about what was your favorite props, Jensen, Misha, and Jared, like throughout the show. And yeah, I really love you guys. <laughs> love you back. Favorite, favorite props throughout, from throughout favorite the show. Favorite prop. Um, baby. baby is not a prop. <laughs> no. No, baby is a part of me. <laughs> um, it really is a story about two brothers and about two brothers that love each other and ultimately will do anything for each other. So you and me versus every soul in hell. There's really one person that really gets it on a level that I get it. And that's Jared. I like those odds. When there's only two leads in the show, both of those guys have to be home runs or else you're dead. So the pressure was really on to cast those two guys. And, and we, we saw everybody and we had weeks and weeks of casting and we weren't, you know, finding who we were looking for. I remember when I first read the project and, and got involved in it, I was, uh, I was actually going to go out for, uh, for Sam, the uh, younger brother, not knowing it. I don't think they had uh, the older brother and anybody in mind for that. I know that they were thinking about Jared, um, and they wanted to bring me in and read kind of against Jared as opposed to with Jared. But Jared came in, and he was just so likable and, and soulful, and and immediately you like just saw things from his eyes and his point of view. And the response I got was, "You nailed it. Your hair is just not long enough." So. When I read the script, I was really into mythology. I was, and I was really into the two characters, Sam especially, and I basically said, "You know, I'd love to be a part of this if." If y'all will have me, you know, I'd love to I'd love to work my butt off for y'all guys and, and help tell the story of this character. After, you know, Jared walked out of the room, you know, we talked about it and we said, geez, you know, it's like Jared, if Jared was Sam, who, you know, and Sam is supposed to be Luke Skywalker, so you sort of need an innocence, we're gonna tap all of Jensen's charisma and 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 put it into Dean. And we called Jensen and his representatives and we said, you know, you know, there's Luke Skywalker, but you could also be Han Solo and who as a kid, you know, didn't want to be Han Solo. Uh, and he was cool and immediately saw the opportunity there. Um, and, and so then we sort of lucked into having the both of them. And, and David, I remember I was with David Nutter, Peter Johnson, and we all turned to each other and we said, we have a series, we're going to get picked up. They were so young when all of this started. Get into my right frame here. Camera off. They brought to it such conviction and such commitment to, to the effort. And, I think that that's one of the things that kept the show going for so many years. I mean, I still love you, right? So, uh, I mean, that is a very good point. That's a very good point. That is a very good point. Yes. I hope no one's filming this. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him, he's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.